got to the volcano. We got a tour guide. You have to get a tour guide to go up there, actually. Um, tour guide said that the walk is about an hour and a half up the volcano. How much did they charge us? They charged us $125 for parking and then they charged us $125 entrance fee for the park, I guess. I'm not sure. And then the tour guide charges you $2 per person. And then when you get up to the volcano, they charge you, um, I guess, another entrance fee. Uh, that one is $6 for tourists and $3 for natives. Oh, I can't breathe in this mask. Tour guy said to be mindful of snakes and some plants that we might not know of because you can get like allergic reactions to it. There's three stops on the way up and basically they just allow you to stay at a stop. If you think you can't continue the tank, they'll let you sit there and wait until the rest of us come back down. But a lot of people say it's like a really like steep hike up with an incline. So people say it can be pretty hard. I think if you pace yourself, you'll be fine. So we'll see. My stamina is no good. Santa Ana volcano, what do they call it? It is a one of many volcanoes in El Salvador. It is an active volcano. The last time that it was active was in 2005. I'm already getting tired <laughs> due to the oxygen. Why am I through Cansada? Ten minutes in. He through? No. No? Yo no. He's fine. He's used to walking. How you feel? I'm okay. It's just the oxygen. It's just yeah. thin. And it's, it's thin and we're going higher and higher. Yep. That's pretty much it. Plus the mask. Oh, we're going to... Lago de Coatepeque. It's right next door. You could see it from the top of the volcano. Okay, let me see. Alright, this is the second start of the hike. I think the Narrows was worse. But the Narrows didn't have altitude. So at the end of the day, I think the difficulty is probably going to be based off of the oxygen. As we're hiking up every, what, maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, we take a break. The incline is pretty steep, uh, probably 45 degree incline as we're climbing up right now. Um, they do have steps or like wood platforms, kind of like in the woody area where it kind of allows you to help help yourself get some grip i would highly recommend obviously we were talking about water earlier and bringing hiking shoes this i would not recommend flip-flops for this again we have i think 300 meters left to the viewpoint 20 minutes later we got another stopping point they have the view area right here it is closed they're called mira, miradores Mirado, what? miradores miradores got a pretty big group with us right now got about 20 people with us you're walking a little fast get up there baby So guys, we there's one volcano, and we started all the way down there. Now we're all the way up here. We've been there. We've been to Ataco. Ataco's really pretty. So yeah, we were gonna go somewhere after this to like lunch. Now that we're out, we're yeah. making recommendations. Ataco instead of Jaya. I don't know how to say it. I think Ataco is really pretty because they have the, it's very colorful and they have lots of murals and they have yeah. cute uh, restaurants. Yeah, I don't know if those are healthy berries. Yeah, maybe. After watching the hunger game. Those might be the berries that you end up down here, right? <laughs> 20 minutes later. All right, another update. We're all the way up here. Almost there. Almost there. I'm dying. She's dying. These plants up here are kind of crazy, though. We're probably like an hour 15 in. Are you going to be on your YouTube channel? Yes. <laughs> 
Probably. Any royalties? <laughs> like and subscribe, please. <laughs> <laughs> The sun is coming out. My legs. Fuck, I'm starting to get tired now. The air is getting thinner and thinner. My legs. We're almost there though. Huh? Conversation. Más rápido. Yo quiero tres minutos. Red Bull. They said we're about probably about 7,000 meters in the air right now. All right, looks like we're on the home stretch. Everybody's pretty much stopped up here at the top. We're here. How do you know it's in that guy's basket? We made it, right? I'm going to ask him. They tiene, what is it? They tiene cervezas. You smell it? Yeah. After an extremely long hike, we have finally made it. All the way in there. We're at the volcano, we're sitting. We've been here for about like 10 minutes already. Um, I'm eating M&M's because they said sugar is good for you to give you energy. We're flying the drone right now to get some really cool, to get some really cool shots. My eyes are closed because the sun is in my face. But we're flying the drone to get some really cool shots for you guys. Crazy, crazy experience. Yeah. Here. Like, I, I be getting these crazy ideas and shit, but <laughs> most of the time they turn out good. <laughs> so we finally made it. We're all the way at the top, probably about 7,500 meters in the air. We can see the lake from here, which is over that direction. We have the volcano behind us. The name of this volcano is? Imatepec. Imatepec. Something I think like that's how that, you say yeah. it. So we finally did it. On a scale from one to ten, how would you rate this hike? A ten? A ten. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard for me at least. It's only I think it's hard because of the eight, the elevation. You get really, really high, like I said, seventy five hundred feet. Since we're seventy five hundred feet in the air, it makes it harder for you to breathe. Hey, if you go your at your own pace, you should be fine. Which they allow you to, yeah. so but um, right now we can't see the lake if not we would have showed you guys, but it's like right on the other side of the volcano. Is it time to go? It is time to go. We gotta go. All the way up. Can you guys see the clouds over the volcano? We're literally in the clouds, guys. Can you guys see? There you go. All right, guys, how long did it take us to get up here? Apparently they say an hour and a half. It's supposed to take an hour and a half to get up here. For me, it feels like two. We did that hour and a half. We're gonna see how long it takes us to get down. It's crazy too, like the color of the water is like a, it's like a green blue, huh? It's like a green blue color. So, we were sitting there having a picnic. I was flying the drone, trying to get, I was trying to get the drone shots for the vlog and everything. And she had M&Ms, we bought M&Ms down at the bottom, right? This is how much she thought about me. She ate all of the m and She did not even leave me one m and How mean is that? I, and I shared it. See, sharing is caring. And you didn't even share not one m and with me. You ate them all. And to me, the worst part is it's like when you go in the bag and you look in the bag, you know when it's the last one and you're like, oh shoot, I just ate all of them. No, that never, it never dawned on her to be like, maybe I should give Babe one of these before I eat them all. I'm glad you said it and I didn't have to say that. Now that we're going down the mountain, 
we're constantly passing people that are now going back up the mountain probably already passed about 50 people going down And just like that, we did it. High five. High five. I look like tomato. I like tomatoes. <laughs> One hour later. We're at the lake in the water. Actually, kind of cold. Whew. It looks like there's a big old boat party right there. Can you guys see that? There's cruise, little cruise ships or boat restaurants all around the edge of the lake. Super nice. I'm currently hiding. We're at the lake and we were gonna get in but it's kind of late so we just put our feet in but it's hot and we're just sitting under the sun and i tan easily i don't know if you guys can see the tan on my arm look ugly ew so yeah i'm just here you know chilling until we leave i'm gonna look like a to tomato everywhere not just my face my body too